Hi dear viewers, this is Oresh Kamoli with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and heartfelt welcome from me. If you remember, in the previous session, we talked about the soup technique and we told you how you can use the soup and gave it the API. In this session, we are going to use kill and post and get messages. Again, I am going to need to tell you that we don't have a constant code that would be applicable for all the soup messages. Uh, the framework, of course, and the overall structure is the same, just like the process that we mentioned for the soup message. You need to give the WSDL file address and then receive the output what the address of the wscl file is and what the name of the functions are something that you can read from the document of the api provider that is on the website the same rule applies in kill we have the post and get message that are working on an http setting and here we are just going to show you uh, how to send and receive them to which URLs you need to send the request which values you need to send uh, it all of course depends on the API provider site address okay in order to use the post and get method uh, here let's see uh, we can say they are similar to the post and get message that we use in the data of our site uh, for sending data okay and now we are going to do the same thing with a foreign site we are going to do this with the url of another site at first step we are going to need the request package of course when we set the z package up the request is going to be set up again uh, we are going to check because when we install it we might just need to use kill and we may not have to install the kill package so we go to the request package installation if it has been installed it is going to tell us that it has been installed and if not it is going to do the installation and yeah uh, it has been installed on our site and uh, along with the zip package this package will be installed as well but if we weren't to use the zip package we uh, must have used the pip install request command to install this package okay i turn the code that we have written before to comment so that you can have access to them for further use this would be the soup technique codes and now i am going to write the kill codes and i would write it on the upper side uh, it is soup and now after that we are going to write a kill okay i'll leave uh, you a comment so that you know how we can use it at first we need to import our package uh, so we say import request import yeah request we import this now we are going to write the code at first i am going to say url equals this url is the address of the source where we are going to connect to using post and get message and send some data and receive some data as an answer in return as we mentioned before this address is not constant it doesn't stay the same you need to study this on the document of the api provider site and see what the address for connection is so we have a url which is our address and then we go and make a variable called pilot and we are going to send uh, the necessary values that we need to send as a dictionary i need to give a name for instance a uh, with the value b or uh, c with the value d okay uh, these are the values that i am going to send 
there is a subtle difference with the soup method. The difference is that in the soup method, when we were sending the request to the WSTL site, uh, we didn't need to the name or to name the value. For instance, say uh, what our secret key is one. Uh, we send one and. Uh, the first value will be considered as one and will be received. But here we need to name it and say, for instance, our secret key equals B and our value equals this amount. This is our price. This is our money. We need to name the variable that has been mentioned in the document. And then uh, we are going to give it its value. Okay. The B and D here are the names of two variables because they are not in the string and they are being used simply for test purposes we don't have b and d variables our code is faulty and it's just for this so that you can equal them to the amounts that are being mentioned here or you can change these to a string or we can change these to a string so that it would equal the string value b and d uh, okay, it can be a string or the variables value. Now we are going to send our request. I make a variable, for instance, result, and I say my result equals. Now I use my request library request. This is different from the ordinary request. The final S is very important. Request dot. Now here I need to name this. We said. We can use two methods here, get and post methods for cal. Uh, as an example, I am going to use the post method here. I say post, I give it the URL, I say send the post method to which URL, the URL that I have defined here as a, a variable. And now I need to send the values. So I say uh, params my parameter that need to be sent equal by load okay now my URL uh, has been made uh, these are the addresses in the post and get message here where we have defined a special URL that is going to be uh, the receiving end if uh, we want to have these in the browser then our address would be set here anything which it is then it has a question mark and then the values that is a equals b c equals d uh, this would be set in the url you might have seen some sites where these are set in the url they are in the URL and request.post is sending the request based on this method. It is making an initial URL. It has a question mark and then it sends the values to it. It adds it to it and then here it sends the request to it. Here, for instance, we can say uh, print result. Uh, uh, dot URL so that we would see the outcome URL that this method is making for us and we can see if the URL is correct or not and if the values have been sent to it or not so here we can see the URL and then in the end what I can do is to add print result and see the outcome okay that's it for sending the request now if I want to change the method to get I just need to change this post to uh, get thus we can use both the post and get message uh, to our desired url and then we can even do other stuff we can do another thing with the output in the result of course it depends on the api provider side sometimes the first value that would be returned for us would be name on the line uh, for instance uh, if the name of the value would be thought of as code, for instance, result.code, we can see the code. Uh, then we are able to, to go to the result.code or result status code, which are default names if they have been left for us when we have result. Now, 
result.api sometimes in the output api we might be giving result.status code as the first field and we can easily see that code using result.status code it would say uh, if that value was for instance 200 then that request would be okay and it has been performed faultlessly and if it is another number the code has been done without a fault uh, code uh, we need to have access to the field this is a secondary message through which we can check the code directly but if we see the result our result would usually be written as a dictionary and uh, can be checked the values inside it it may not be called a status code and might be something else but in the end it will show us if the request has been performed successfully whether it was correct or not if there are any other stuff and if there was an error it will return it for us and we will be able to see it in the result in the result it will be shown exactly as we had it you can show that certain field and extract it wherever we want check it out and if there were any results use the results etc